This segment is brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Welcome back to Farm Factor and the Kansas Soybean Update. This is the Kansas Soybean Update. It's brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Donnell Rehagen, CEO of the National Biodiesel Board, is joining us. And Donnell, as we end 2016 into 2017, several things to talk about. One, though, about biodiesel. And as we go into 2017, just review 2016 on the biodiesel industry. Yeah, 2016 has been a great year for us. We're uh, continuing to grow, seeing higher and higher volumes of biodiesel out in the marketplace. And that's what we're all about. Yeah, yeah, for soybean prices, like many that we have seen within this market, yeah, the markets have been down throughout 2016. They have been, but again, great news for uh, biodiesel. We're seeing a lot more biodiesel made, a lot more biodiesel sold, and that's great for everybody, great for the soybean farmers as well. The exposure of the industry and, and the value of what they get for biodiesel, I, I think, is still showing through. Oh it's, oh, it's huge. It's huge. And for biodiesel, you know, we show that uh, biodiesel impacts soybean prices at the tune of 63 cents a bushel. And so that's a very significant uh, impactor for soybean prices, and we're proud to be part of that. How does MBB work with the animal agriculture industry? We work with them as tightly as we possibly can. They're obviously interested in the same components that we're interested in. Feed prices impact their business, and, and oil prices prices impact ours, and so we work very cooperatively with them. It is, and it always has been, a very close relationship with the Friends in Animal Ag. Absolutely. You're right. It's definitely as a friendship and a relationship that we can want to continue to build on. What are some of the goals you're looking at for 2017? More biodiesel. We're working on some policy initiatives that are going to be very important to our industry to continue growing with the RFS and the tax credit. We've got some work yet this calendar year to do on both of those issues, and so hopefully we'll kick 2017 off on a great movement. You feel optimistic those can get extended? Well, it's going to be a hot, lot of hard work. The tax credit is looming here in the uh, lame duck Congress, and they're coming back to work next week, and I think their first job is to try to fund the government and then figure out what they want to deal with after that. We're working hard to make sure one of those issues is the biodiesel tax credit. But yet it's hard for the producers and the manufacturers kind of to live year by year, so to speak. Absolutely, and that's one of the things that we struggle with the most in our industry is the uncertainty of demand from year to year. The policies are critical for us, and having a little bit more uh, longevity in those policies would be very important for us, and that's, that's the message we keep bringing to Congress. Finally, how important is it to have partners like Kansas Soybeans to really support what you guys do at MBB? They've been great, great, great partners of ours for a long time. Not only sharing their resources, but sharing their leadership and their knowledge of the ag industry and the energy industry. I can't say enough good things about them. Danielle Rehagen, the CEO of the National Biodiesel Board, has been our guest on the Kansas Soybean Update. It's brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Learn more at Kansas Soybeans Org. For Kansas Soybeans, I'm Greg Akagi. Hope you enjoyed this week's Kansas Soybean Update. Stay with us after the break for more Farm Factor as Kyle visits with Mike Stam. Biodiesel made from sustainable resources is diversifying our fuel supply. This year, Biodiesel will displace over a billion gallons of fossil fuel nationwide. It's making our economy stronger and our communities healthier. It's working here and across America. Get biodiesel going in your community. Visit americasadvancedbiofuel.com. 